Hey guys, welcome back to Honey Rose to Roll. I hope you guys are doing well and everyone is safe. Okay, I wanted to um, tap into the collective energy and give a collective reading, okay? I think Sanfaline, this, this Sanfaline is an archangel. They came out in uh, the last reading that I did. It's an archangel. This is a different deck though, but they're on the bottom of this deck. I'm going to get started with you guys' this reading. My collective readings right now are my bonus readings. Okay, and it's just for the general, um, all the zodiac signs, okay? So you definitely can uh, take some messages that resonate with you out of this reading, okay? Out of these particular readings that I post, it's just, it's, it's for all signs, okay? Because everything, something is going to be here for everybody, some kind of message. Okay, so just take what resonates, guys, okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you, um, I'm trying to think. Well, that can wait to the end then. I was just going to say, I, I will be pulling some cards at, toward the end. And if you would like to stick around, uh, please do so. Okay, if you don't want to, you can click, click off. I will be reading from one of my Oracle decks here. My Isis Oracle deck, I will be reading from that deck. Okay, so I just wanted to get you guys a reading done here. So yesterday was the new moon. Uh, like I told y'all guys in the reading about the new moon, um, I just feel better. Now that it's done past, I've been able to get me some rest. I did write down my thoughts and plans and everything, whatever I had, you know, pending in my mind. I just kind of, I wrote it out on paper, just making the vision plain, okay? I did that. And like I said, I got some good rest and I really feel the energy. It's, it, it's, it's, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good, I could say, because like I was telling y'all, it was feeling a bit heavy, like, you know, just a bit heavy, in a, you know, leading up to the new moon. But now that it's here, like I said, I just feel, I feel like um, a lot lighter, like the energy is a lot lighter, a lighter. So, all right, I'm getting to you guys this reading here. Okay, spirit team, please protect us as I channel messages here for the collective. All right, block out. Any and all intrusions, okay, for clear and accurate and precise messages to come through. Spirit, I ask that you return to sender all dark energy sent toward us tenfold times tenfold, all right, and also banish it from us and bind it to the original sender, okay? Love and light, let's begin your reading, guys. Reading here for the collective here, Spirit. What messages here do you have for my collective? Okay, all signs, all zodiac signs, collective reading. Okay. Whenever you see this message, uh, this video, guys, this uh, these messages could be for you. Energy is fluid, okay? All right, so Spirit says you're ready here. Spirit says you're ready. This is the overall energy here. 43, some of you guys could be turning 43 this year, or you could be the age 43. Um, it says momentum, validation, encouragement, and prepared. Spirit says you're ready for whatever is next on your journey. You're ready for it. You could, be, you could have been feeling like this person here, you know, it's hard to ride a bike. This person is trying to ride a bike, and... The bike is seen to be, you know, yeah, you're ready. You're taking off the training wheels here for your the next phase of your life. This person is, uh, that that's a feather. That's a tattoo of a feather. I thought it was like a, a bruise or something. But you've been bruised. You know how it is to ride a bike. Everybody had to learn how to ride a bike. So it was hard. It was tough. You had to learn how to do it, it you know, just to get the concept of it. You had to have the training wheels to help you. But now, Spirit said, you ready? You don't need training wheels. You ready to dive right in here? doing what you're supposed to do for this, this next phase of your life, for your journey, okay, for your soul's journey, because it's all a phase, it's all phases, it's all levels, okay, all right, Spirit, so give me some messages here for 
my collective. Okay, we have energy healing, 21. It says holistic, well-being, thriving, and vibrant. Beautiful. In reverse, it says acquitted or aquatic, neglect, and lethargic, and malaise. Malaise, but, but you're none of that because this is here is in the upright. So we have energy healing here. Holistic, well-being, and thriving, and vibrant. So I'm, I'm getting you guys are radiant like the sun. I'm also getting that with that green it's like it's giving me the heart chakra. Okay, so you guys could be having a heart chakra ascension upgrade. Okay, an upgrade to your heart chakra system. Could be. Or just energy healing is for all your chakras, okay? Because it says holistic and well-being. So that's like an overall well-being and you're thriving and you're vibrant here. Okay? All right, let's see. What else is here? What other messages here? Nice. Look at there. We have number 14. Angels are watching over you. That's like the tempest card in Tarot. So it says supported, protected, loved, and encouraged. You guys could be, you know, just know that your spirit team is surrounding you right now. And they love you. They're guiding you. And they, they, they're definitely protecting you. Okay? And they want you to be encouraged here. All right? All right. And on the, uh, the next card we have is number 34, self-employment. Oof. This is I'm, I, this is my age. I just turned 34, my recent birthday on the 1st. So this is beautiful. Self-employment, okay? It says commitment, resourceful, confident, rewarding. Okay, I'm definitely taking that because, listen, I'm also a part of the collective, guys. So, yeah, bottom of the day, we have time to go. It says transformation, completion, confirmation, and exit. So you've definitely exited a situation here. You got your bags packed here. You about to, all, somebody, some of y'all about to travel. Some of y'all about to travel the world, it seems here. Because you're prepared. Spirit said you are prepared here. Okay, you're ready. All right, you're, you're healing. And, you know, you need to know, you know, some of you could be crying right now. Some of you could be trying to clear out some of your, you know, energy. Cry, crying clears out so much in your energy field. Okay, and you must release it. That's why tears are there. All right, when you cry, it's very helpful. So don't feel weak. Don't feel less than male or female. Okay. You, you know, don't worry about that. You know, crying is helpful for the soul. It's good for the soul. Okay? And your, your spirit team is watching over you. All right? Awesome. Beautiful. So this is what we have out here, guys. Let's see. What else? Ooh. <laughs> I know, I know y'all see this in the upright. And it's that sand felon at Archangel that I was just saying that was on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, he's out here now. And it talks, this is number nine, San, Sandiflon Turquoise. That's the color here. Okay, and it says forgiveness, seeking, freedom, and healing. Okay, beautiful. So this person is, this archangel is standing up on this rock, and he has all these, like, words around him. Pain, questions, what does it say? Lack, betrayal, peace, greed, forgiveness, chaos, loss, healing, answers, Charity, abundance, and gain. Wow. Forgiveness, seeking, freedom, and healing. So you got healing out here. You got healing out here twice. That's beautiful because I will be pulling from my Isis Oracle deck. And um, it literally talks about stepping into the healing chambers. Okay? I love that. I love that for you guys. Look, number 44 here, it says your, de your desires are within reach. Faith, patience, excitement, and relief. Beautiful. That's what that's what spirit has for you. Oh, my pen don't fail. That's what spirit got for you guys. So let's see. Let's see about this energy healing here. Holistic well-being and thriving and vibrant. Let's see here, spirit. Let's get some messages to clarify this here. Spirit wants you to know that you're supported, you're protected, you're loved, and they're encouraging you. Some of you guys are gaining self-employment on your own, okay, you're committed, you're resourceful, you're confident, you're rewarding. I just saw the high priestess on the bottom, okay? Some of you guys could be healers, mystics, witches, 
white witches of the light, okay? Don't get caught up on that word, all right? We're just taking the taking our power back, okay? Uh-oh. Are we jumping out of the deck? That's good. That means that the energy is here for us to see what's going on. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see here. Energy healing, holistic, well-being, environment, thriving. Spirit say you're thriving. Yeah, you definitely, Spirit is definitely here leading you guys on, okay? Just know, some of you guys are feeling lost, you need support. Your spirit guides have definitely stepped in, stepped in to um, guide you here. They really have. There's a need to trust your intuition, okay? Trust your inner guides, that inner knowledge, that you... It, there, there's a need to trust that inner knowing is what I'm trying to, you know, say. Yeah, the, you, the, trust your inner knowing here. well-being, thriving, and vibrant. Let's see what this is talking about. Let's clarify this here for the collective here today, Spirit. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Six of Swords. All right, overall energy, the higher font. Mm. So you've learned some sort of lesson here. You've been learning these lessons here, and that your angels are watching over you, and you're healing, okay? It's also about energy healing out here, but the high find here is here. That's the overall energy. So let's see. Spirit clarify energy healing. Holistic well-being, thriving and vibrant. Energy healing. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. So this is you. So you've been you're you're able to heal now that you freed yourself here. The nine of pentacles talks about self-reliance. Talks about being abundant, prosperous, okay? You um you're just independent here. You are some of you guys could be single, you could be just hey, you living your living it and loving your single life, okay? The nine of pentacles is very even though she's single, she's still very so much abundant. And uh the nine of pentacles is the pre the pre uh pre empress card, okay? So you could have some you could be spirit spirit wants you to know that you are to, to in order to be successful. You already have what it takes. Everything is already surround, around you, okay? You guys could be getting back out in nature, taking care of yourself. That's how you're able to have that well-being and, and thrive. And it, it says here holistic. The first word out here for this card is holistic. Holistic is really just getting back to nature, okay? The nature elements of things. Holistic is, you know, like holistic care, holistic wellness, okay? So it's like natural remedies. Some of you guys could be... Uh, Taking natural substances like herbs, um, um, just any kind of, just 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 natural things, okay. Instead of instead of man-made medicines, because it's, it's not a pinnacles, it's outside. She's very she's on she's growing her own food. Some of you guys could be doing that or wanting to do that. Could be getting into herbalism here, just holistic methods here for your life, and that's that's amazing. That's beautiful. That's exactly what this is talking about because it's talking about well-being. And, and Spirit says you're definitely taking care of yourself here. Okay, so that's awesome. Doing your energy healing. So what else with energy healing and the Nine of Pentacles? I don't know if it's in the reverse or not. I won't take it. It was the Four of Pentacles crossing, but it flipped out, but it's, I don't know. So let's see. what if it, It'll come out, it'll come out. What's energy healing here with the nine of pentacles? Yeah, the devil. <laughs> so this is what you're healing from. <laughs> you're healing from this top, you know, some of you could guys could have some uh toxic, toxic habits here. You could have some addictive habits, addictive people, places, things, something could be addictive in your life. Okay, it could be even a toxic mindset, okay, with this nine of swords on the bottom. Some of you guys could be going through a dark night of the soul, or this could this this is this is someone else's energy around you who was going through this here because you freed yourself with the nine of pentacles, nine of swords, another nine. So yeah, the nine of swords, the two of wands, and the hangman. Yeah, you gained some sort of different perspective here, and you are partnering up, you're planning, and yeah, you just free, you freed yourself here, and this some someone is um 
in their head about it here. Yeah, like I said, the Five of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Temperance. You're very so much protected from whatever this in whatever this devil energy is here. You're protected, but someone's sad. Someone's sad because you you having a victory here, and you're protected. You're successful, okay. You, you, some of you guys can be definitely seen in the public eye, okay. But you're just over here growing and glowing here with this Nine of Pentacles. It's like you 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 are taking care of you. You worry about your business and what you got going on alone. You're not even entertaining this toxic energy here. You you're healing your own self. You have energy healing for you, okay. You're being vibrant and you're thriving. You're thriving. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, the Two of Wands was, was was actually on the top of the deck. So it's actually come out here, guys. So Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. It, it, like I said, it talked about you being independent and, and you have some sort of freedom here to be able to plan ahead. You got, you, you're got you making plans and goals. Uh, the Two of Wands also talks about partnership. Okay? And someone's sad because you're leaving them behind here. Okay? Yeah, somebody somebody probably wants to come towards you from your past here with this Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. They know that you're healing. That's the thing. They know that you're a star and you're healing here and they want to come towards you with some sort of offer from the past. But you you turn your back on this person with the Two of, two of Wands here and you're focused on your plannings. Okay, your plans. The new moon just came in. And you and you and you guys actually wrote out your plans. You've done. You um. You gathered. You gathered your thoughts and everything. And someone, like I said, someone said they want to come in and apologize to you. Okay. They want to come towards you here. Someone does. Yeah. That's what I get with that. What else with the uh, nine of pentacles and the two of wands? Okay. Two of cups on the bottom, so you guys can definitely be seeing <clears throat> two, two, two here. Okay, the seven of wands. Yeah. Yeah, if, if somebody is planning to come towards you, if this toxic person is, is planning to come towards you, they're blocked. If spirit is blocking this person out of your out of your energy field here with this energy healing card, and they, they are they are allowing you to heal and not, you know come together with this top, toxic mess, whoever this person is, that they're blocked. Your spirit team is all over this here. They, they, they're allowing you to be able to have have um, abundance and plan ahead and focus on what you got to focus on and anything outside of that. Okay, look, look at this here. I just want you to see you over here growing and glowing and you're planning ahead and, and you, you know, you've accepted these challenges here, but this is also spirit blocking out things. Your energy field is protected. That's what that's what that is. So you can be able to grow and glow and plan and do what you must. But someone's waiting for you to do do something with them. Come towards them. They want to come towards you. But whatever it is, it's blocked. Okay, it's definitely blocked. Just showing you that real quick. I don't want to keep up the the naked cards on here, but I, I did want you to really see what I see here. Okay, because I do got the camera back there. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely so. It's definitely blocked here, guys. Spirit is blocking out this stuff for you to be abundant here, so your energy field can heal, so you can your well being can heal. Okay, you're, you're making the right decision for your union here, in order for you guys to be vibrant and and well taken care of. You, you you're taking care of yourself here. Yeah, you're not you're not you're not being stuck about you're not being stuck in this illusion no more of of, of being victimized. You're not a victim to anything. Somebody tried to put that label on you, but you you peeled all them labels off of you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not stuck or trapped. Spirit is leading you on into common waters. That's what these the six of swords is doing here from this eight of swords, which is a stuck energy. All that mess is blocked. That's what's being blocked out here. This this mental state of mind being of being. This person is surrounded in around all these swords and they're tied up in their head. They're, 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 they're trapped. They're stuck. Some of you guys could be trapped in your mind. Okay, that's the that's the worst prison in the world to be in is being stuck, having a stuck mentality in your mindset, right? Because all these swords out here is, is our energy, is mental, okay? So, but spirit is definitely moving you on to calm waters. Your inner gods here are, are it's, it's, there's a need to trust your, your spirit team right now, guys. Trust, lean on your inner, lean on your spirit team for support right now. 
if you're feeling if you're feeling this toxic energy coming up, whatever it is, it could be depression, it could be um, bad or old habits of being that you old ways that you how you used to be. It could be coming up wanting wanting that something wanting to test you and tempt you, but and and trap you here, okay. But spirit is is urging you and 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 want they want to they want to guide you. They here they here telling you something. The six of swords with this empress. I'm uh, not empress. Some some of you guys can be an empress, but the six of swords and the uh, high priestess is is a, is a the time to trust your inner guides because they're definitely moving you out of something here, and they're blind. They're, they're they're trying to block something out for you to protect you, and you guys got to take heed. You got to listen. Okay. Ah, right, that's nice. What's the devil card here? Well, actually, let's see something here. I don't want. Let me, let me see. What's this two of wands in um, particular here? What's this two of wands? I just want to see if it's like somebody like coming towards you, playing or something, or if this is actually you and your person here. Okay, we got the king of wands on the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Two of wands, the queen of swords with the page of swords. Mm. So... Okay, yeah, I'm getting with this here, this Queen of Swords and this Page of Swords coming out here. That's the Two of Swords. That's two swords we have out here, and we know what the Two of Swords talks about. It talks about a stalemate. It talks about delays. It talks about a choice between two. Okay, uh, being stuck. Okay, unable to be able to make a decision here. But um, aside from that, this Queen of Swords and this Page of Swords, someone's watching you. Someone's watching and waiting for you. Okay, and they're a toxic person. It could be this King of Wands, someone who's very sexual. Okay, with this with this devil energy out here, but whoever it is, they're blocked. And but the, I'm just we just the spirits want you to know that they're in your energy, trying to pull you towards them. You could you could probably feel them energetically, but you you probably can't anymore with that new moon that just came in. They're blocked. You guys been doing your return to sender. You have been blocking out this energy and you've been protecting yourself like I've been encouraging you guys to do so. Very awesome, okay? Because this person who's trying to, yeah, what did I just say? I said you you guys could be the empress here. Yeah, what did I say? I said you guys could be the empress here and this person is, this karmic king of wands person is coming towards you. They want, they want, they're, they're heartbroken because you walked away. I can't make it up if you guys can see the cards. Yeah, you've walked away from this person. <clears throat> It was just 22, 22 on the clock. Oh, my little doves are outside this morning. <laughs> but yeah, back to the reading. You, you walked away from this person and they're heartbroken. And that, that's, that's who this page of swords is. You, you have discernment here with this queen of swords. You're very wise, intelligent, and you spoke your truth about this person. You see this person. The queen of swords is looking right at this page of swords. They both of y'all are looking at each other. This person is a whole page out here. They're a page. You're looking at them like, listen, I will slice and dice you and, and keep it moving. You don't have you don't have time for this. Okay. You know exactly who this person is. Okay. You planning ahead. You're not even trying, you blocking out this mess. You blocking it out. I, I promise you that's what this is. This King of Wands, I'm telling you. Yeah, why not? Woo! Woo woo! <laughs> the sun with the moon and the ace of cups, honey. Oh we yes, baby. Oh yes, this is what you got coming in. I'm getting a strong twin flame energy here. With the sun and the moon here, you are in, you are balanced now. You have, like I said, you you taking care of yourself with the nine of pentacles. You have abundance here. You have love. You have vitality. It says vibrant. The energy healing card talks about being vibrant, and that's what the sun is. It's very vibrant and radiant. Okay, you, you you're joyous. You're happy. Okay, you you just got you got balance in your life here. Okay, some of the some of you guys could be expecting, okay, expecting a birth or expecting a new project to take off. Something you have going on brewing here, and this someone's you know wants to come towards you here, but no, but no, they want to come in with this 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 night flighty energy, and it's like no, you have you have too much shit going on. You focus in on you. You don't have time to be engaging in no toxic crap. You do not. And as soon as that sage go out, I'm a I got another stick here. I'm a light. I'm going to keep my sage going here because I know this reading. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep that sage burning. So, yeah, this person, yeah, they, they want to come towards you, but they're blocked. They are truly, truly blocked. <laughs> wow. What's the... I cannot. I cannot. Give me this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Child. I, this, these came out. Woo. 
The lovers with the higher font. Wow. Strong twin flame energy here. But you've made a major decision about this, this situation here. You made a major decision, okay? And you've learned this lesson here. You know who your person is. You're not confused, all right? You know exactly the, the path that you're going on, okay? This is beautiful. Queen of Swords to the, the lovers with the higher font. You're healing. You're resting. The high priestess with the seven of swords and the four of swords. That's 11. So you definitely get it. Wow, and we got the high priestess here with the higher font. Like I said, that's that sun and moon. That's strong counterpart energy. The sun and the moon, the high priestess with the higher font. Those are strong counterparts here. Okay, but you're definitely uh, getting some sort of justice here. Common justice as well, because guess what? You've learned your lessons here. I'm just counting up the swords. You, you're, you're getting that because you've learned your lesson here, the higher font, okay? Now the sun and moon again with the ace of cups. Like I'm telling you, you're definitely in balance. You're in union. And you ain't got time to be, you know, like I said, you know, you, you know, a queen does not stop to address, you know, people who got who running their mouth about them. Okay, it's like I'm getting like like the lion or a lioness. Okay. The lioness is not about to when you a queen, when you walk into your, your purpose as a king or a queen, you're not about to sit here and, and engage in no no barking from the from dogs. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're going to let the dogs bark, and you're going to stay on your throne. Okay, that's what you're going to do. And uh, all, all, this, all people can do is sit here and watch. What's this page of swords? Yeah, they're in your energy watching and waiting. The, the, to, to come towards you, but they're blocked out with their toxic ways. What's the page of swords? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. They just want to come in and slow you down. Yeah, you, yeah, the Six of Cups, somebody from your past, the Six of Cups is poking out. But you, you've you gained another, uh, a different perspective from the situation here. Okay, so you know what you're going to do, what you're supposed to do. You know about this person. You get, yeah, you've gained uh, some truth about this person. We did see the Sun card there. Okay. But the Ace of Swords talks about truth and clarity here. You got mental clarity, mental, mental, mental energy here, okay, to see this King of Wands person for exactly who they is. And you take an action. You are definitely taking action. The star with the magician and the King of Cups, you're standing in your power, you're radiant, you're vibrant, you're glowing, you're growing. The King of Cups, that could be a person, yeah. That could be a person with this high priestess. It could be a spirit guy. It could be uh, your, 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 your spirit team supporting you. Could be. What's the devil? Clarify the devil. Just wanted to give you guys a detailed reading today. You have a ten of wands. These addictions or uh, this toxic mess was was burdening you. It was only it was only weighing you down. This person, place, or thing, situation, whatever. It was only weighing you down here. It was keeping you tied and bound and bounded. It's like you're obligated. You felt obligated to 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 be toxic, to be uh, to to you know. And that's like I'm I'm talking about. It's like I'm giving the definition of uh, an addiction here. Some of you guys could could definitely be healing from some sort of addiction here, and you that was that was keeping you burdened. That was that it was definitely keeping you burdened. But look at this. Look at that. You have been dealing with some sort of addiction here. And it's it's been burdening it's been burdening you it's been burdensome right but the chariot is here to let you know that you you're in balance now that you there's balance here you've been able to overcome these obstacles here you're nurturing yourself you're taking more care of yourself and with the queen of pentacles you went from the nine of pentacles here to this queen of pentacles okay because you freed yourself here all right you've been able to take that brand new leap of faith and you're free from like the nine of pentacles you're free from these 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 chains that's been put on you these labels chains whatever. Okay, um, you freed yourself here, and you've been having, you kept your strength. You've had the strength to free yourself. You guys could be, should be congratulating yourself. You should be proud of yourself from what you've done here, because it's showing that you've overcome, that you, you either will or you are overcoming these burdens, these toxic burdens here with that devil card and that ten of wands. What's the devil with the ten of wands? Okay, the wheel of fortune. Change is here. Good karma is here. Okay, it's in the upright. Wow, got some fixed signs there. But listen, you're on the good side of karma. Life cycles, I get cycles there too. Okay, look, you got a brand new passionate beginning coming in here. 
Okay, you got your you got your strength back. You got your uh, yeah your your energy back. Okay, some of you guys could definitely be feeling feeling energized with this Ace of Wands, the Judgment with the Five of Cups. Someone's getting their judgment. Yeah, Six of Swords, the Eight of the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Empress. I told you this was you. You you definitely or you overcame some sort of mental uh mental I want, I'm getting mental illness with the Eight of Swords. You've overcame it. Because spirit being able to guide you, spirit has guided you, and you came out, you went in a lamb, and you came out a lion. Wow. And you and you got your strength. You got your strength. You got your um victory here. You go, are you gonna get it here with the six of wands and the empress? Wow, the wheel of fortune is here in the upright. This is the year of karma. This is the year of karma. And that's the last card over here. That's the last card that I'm going to pull from that. That's beautiful, guys. <laughs> King of Pentacles wanting to fall out. Let's see. What, what, what is um, angels are watching over you? Support it, protect it, love, and encourage. We've seen all your angels just now in the pre-shuffle of this, of this previous, of this energy healing card. And so now we're about to see. Angels are watching over you. Support it, protect it, love, and encourage. What's, what's this one here? What's angels are watching over you? Okay, the two of pentacles, you're in your ebb and flow. You're, there's balance here, okay? Yeah, you're just, you're just balancing life. You're juggling, okay? You could be, you guys could be transferring money, paying bills right now. You could be, that's, that could be why you're sad on this person that's sad on the car, um, sad about finances. But, you know, you're the nine of pentacles, all right? The nine of pentacles is out here. Six of wands, there's a victory coming for you. Okay, yeah, Ace of Swords with the King of Wands and the Hangman. There's a need to take action on a case, but I'm getting that someone's in your energy that you gain. You you looking at them differently here. You got there's been a breakthrough here, so there's gonna be a breakthrough here with your finances here. That's why the self employment card is out here. There's a breakthrough with your finances. This also talks about victory. There there will be a victory here. Okay, truly, the two of, the two of Pentacles. What else? When angels are watching over you. With the two of pentacles. What do we have? Get yeah, an eight of cups. So you've walked away from a situation. You walked away. I mean, you know, this card is he oh yeah, you walked away. You walked away. This is eight of cups, and you walk into your two of cups to, to, to gain that ten of cups. Eight to the two, that's ten. So you've walked away from somebody that, that was juggling you. And Spirit wants you to know that you're, they're, they're, the angels are watching over you. You're supported, you're protected, and you're loved. It, it could have hurt. Oh, goodness. Oh, I got chills. Some of you guys could be going through a breakup, and you had to walk away from a person that was trying to juggle you, and that's, that's that was heartbreaking to you. We did see that. We did see the um, three of swords in the deck. Some king of wands person probably could have broke your heart. Okay, but spirits, spirit, your spirit guides are definitely on your side. They are supporting you heavily here, and they are surrounding you, okay? But you, you walking towards, if you're not, like I said, you're single right now, but this is what's on the way. This nine of pentacles is out here, but this is here. This here is what you're getting. Spirit is, has, has this here for you. We got the eight of cups to the two of cups to the ten of cups. Spirit, spirit, spirit wants you to be happy, happy. You know what I mean? Your, your your cup, like the Ace of Cups, your cup is running over. It's overflowing of love, okay? That's what spirit wants. Yeah, because, you know, you 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 having to heal from these fears and, and heartbreak and loss. Oh, Five of Swords, yeah, you dealing with some sort of abuse, abusive person, okay? Or, you know, you walked away from a situation, but like I said, you're healing now. You're happy. That was in the past, and now you got this here on the way for you. Okay, just because you walked away. Yeah, the sun. Look, we saw the moon, and now the sun is here with the eight of pentacles and the damn eight of wands. Look at there. Some of you guys could be seeing eight, eight, eight. Okay, but the sun is that you're walking away to your healing here. That's what this is. The sun is definitely healing when this when you when the sun car actually lands out here in the upright. It literally has it, it literally has an effect on all the cards that all that that's in the spread to some degree it affects all the cards on the spread but it's just showing that you're happy you're walking away for your happiness here so you 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 don't you don't left something that wasn't fulfilling emotionally it wasn't fulfilling for you and, and you are you walking into being just hey you're going on that soul journey 
you going on that path here, and this is what's around the corner here, the two of cups with the sun. So keep going. Spirit wants you to keep going. That's why we keep saying that six of swords. Spirit definitely wants you to keep going here. Okay? What's the two of pentacles? All right, this one fell on the floor. Two of pentacles. We got the seven of cups in the reverse. Okay, so you gained some sort of mental clarity. You and your ebb and flow. And you... um. You're able to go with the flow now, especially with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. You've learned your lesson here with the Three of, three of Pentacles. You've learned to let your lesson, which could be by the third party, but I'm just getting that, that this could be your spirit team. Like, look. Look at that. There are three angels in this card, and this is the Three of Pentacles. Okay? It's like your spirit guys coming together saying, hey, this is what we need to do for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. We need to be protecting them. We need to support them more. They're going through something right now. We need to be there for them. Okay? And they stepped in here, and they're giving you clarity here. All right? Because you, you remain in your ebb and flow. You're, you, you remain flexible and adaptable here. With all, the, with all the chaos that could have been going on around you, you've gained some sort of clarity here. Okay? Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to come in, and um, I don't know. They want to come towards you here, but no. Whatever it is, like I say, it's not gonna, that 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 block anything that's not healing to your energy is gonna be blocked out. Just period. What's the two of pentacles with the seven of swords in the seven of cups in the reverse? Yeah, another seven here. So that's that's definitely a spirit is trying to give you a warning here right now. Seven of pentacles here. Spirit, spirits definitely want you to pay attention to this here, this this particular message, because your angels are very so much watching over you, okay? Wow. So with the seven of pentacles in reverse, seven the seven of cups in reverse with the seven of pentacles, you 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 are in your ebb and flow, you're balanced, but the seven of cups, like I said, you gain some sort of clarity, okay? There's a release here. Some of you guys could be uh, so, uh, sobering up here with the seven of cups in reverse. This could have this could have been something that you know you needed to be that you needed to do for a long time here with the seven of pentacles. You've assessed the situation, you you've evaluated yourself, and you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do to stand in your power. Okay, your resource. It, one of the, yeah, this card here talks about being confident and resourceful, and this is the magician here. Yeah, nine of cups, the temperance. Wow, look at there, look at there. Wow, oh, I want to cry. You guys could have been going through some, you, you're coming out of some dark night of the soul here, okay? And you, you're now able to, to take care of yourself. Look at all these nines out here. Nine of cups and the nine of swords. So when these car, when my cards sync up with the with numbers like that, spirit definitely wants you to pay attention. There's definitely a significant message that spirit wants you to know. And look at the temperance here. We're talking about angels are watching over you. And look at this temperance here with protection. Spirit is protecting you, Okay? Wow. Another nine to the eight of wands to the nine of wands to this nine of swords. You're protected from whatever this is. That energy that you're feeling, whatever thoughts that you're having that, that are not kind thoughts or not loving thoughts, that's not your energy. Okay? And you must return to sender. That, that's, that, that's, that is what's being sent out towards you. Okay? That's how you're going to overcome any mental problem. Send it right back to the sender. When it's confusing you, that's, that's not of God. That's, that's the work of the enemy. Okay, and you must be able to discern the difference. You know that energy that that those thoughts are not your own thoughts. Okay, you're not going crazy. You literally just got to send that back to where it came from. That's all you must do with that. What's the seven of cups in the reverse with the seven of pentacles? The three of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you you. Wow, four of cups on the bottom. Somebody have somebody's missed their opportunity with you. Somebody, you, you're refusing an offer from someone because they, they, they can't, you can't work with these people. This could be a person or it could be a job. That's why this self-employment card is here because you, you getting a, you, you going into business for yourself. You need to take that leap of faith and you guys are doing that. Congratulations on that. Okay. But you could have been, I'm just getting with this third pinnacles in reverse. You, you couldn't, you've seen the truth about a situation. You know that these people had you juggling. 
on this job. They had you judging with that two of pentacles. And you gain, you you see the situation for what it is clearly now. And with the seven of cups in verse and the seven of pentacles, you're able to reap your harvest. And you, well, you've just been able to be patient here. You had to be patient because it's like, you know what? I know it took a while for you to come to this to this point, to see this situation for what it is, to see that you cannot work with these people. The three of pentacles in reverse. This is this is like a a, a group of people that, that are just not, you can't, like I said, you just can't work with them. Yeah, and you've ended it. They were very hostile, and it was an ongoing battle here that was happening here. That's what you was dealing with. Dealing with something very ongoing. He was trying to work with toxic um, toxic individuals, people who want a very hostile like, and hold an animosity towards you. You you ended this. You you had like I said, you had a dark night of the soul. You you went you undergone some sort of death and rebirth here, okay? And you you refusing their offer. They missed out. This job got the hey. You walking away from it. The eight of cups here. You walking away from it. Six of pentacles, ten of pentacles to the king of swords. Look at there. That Ten of Pentacles and that Six of Pentacles, that's what? 16, that's the tower. So that job is falling apart now because you don't walk away. They're falling apart because you don't walk away. Or this could be you leaving the X here. This King of Swords could be an X. You could be turning your back on the X. So this could be an Archangel mark watching over you. We do have Archangel Santa Claus. If I'm saying his name right. But they're watching over you here. As you gain some sort of foresight with that three of three of wands, wow! <laughs> yeah, something didn't that some some kind of bad contract. That's what that was. What's the seven of pentacles with the three of pentacles in the reverse? It's like having to cut your losses here. Yeah, that bad that bad contract is over with. All that conflict it was nothing but conflict and chaos. And confusion, competition. Like, no, you you didn't you didn't sign you you just simply said you didn't sign up for that. Okay, you know your worth, so you walked away here to this new beginning here. The world, that's success, that's victory. Some of you guys could be online, some of you guys could be going, you know, traveling overseas. Okay, because the the world card definitely talks about travel here. But spirit wants you to know that that mess is over with. You've seen it, you know the truth about it because you've assessed the situation, you've looked at it, and you're like, you know what, this ain't serving me. And you walked off. Wow, exactly. The Hermit to the Five of Pentacles, just what I said is here. The Hermit to the Five of Pentacles to the Empress, you've done the work. You went within, you entered, you've done the introspection. You've seen that with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit that, hey, you know what, this ain't, this ain't gonna work. I see that this Three of Pentacles, it is what it is, and I got to leave that mess out in the cold. And you did that. You left that job out in the cold or you left that relationship out in the cold that wasn't serving you. And instantly, inst instantaneously, you became the Empress just like that because you stopped playing about you. Okay. You, you started taking you seriously. Okay. You're healing seriously. The energy healing card is the first one out here. You started taking you seriously. Okay. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Spirit is offering you some kind of aid, some kind of support. Okay, or you could be just a very loving and kind, generous person that they took for granted here. Okay, you and you, you know, you walked away. What's the Eight of Cups? Seven of Swords. You walked away from the lies, the deceit, the deception here. Look at these sevens out here. Wow. Seven of, so seven of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Like I told you, this is a message. This is a big message for y'all right now, Collective. Okay? With these sevens, this is a warning, all right? This, for, for the people that you was dealing with, that job that you was dealing with, this is huge. It's this, it's this monumental because look at the star on the bottom of the uh, deck here. Some of you guys could be in Aquarius or could have it somewhere in your chart, okay? Highly aspected. You walking away to your healing and your happiness here. That's why the energy healing is here. Look at this. The star, the four of wands with the nine of cups and the magician. You're healing from this. You're healing from it. This is what spirit has for you guys. This is beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. The King of Cups, the chariot with the King of the Queen of Pentacles, the fool. So yeah, I'm de I'm definitely getting that you're stepping into your, your glory here. You went, you like I said, you're going from the Nine of Pentacles here to the Queen of Pentacles. This is a spirit guide, an angel watching over you and protecting you. Look at the angels are surrounding this person. They're surrounding this person and they're surrounding this Queen of Pentacles. 
I'm definitely talking to my divine feminines, my divine beings here. So this is a woman on this card, and this this Queen of Pentacles is is in the middle of this of these angels. This King of Cups could be an angel, and this Temperance is an angel. You see that? I'm just it's just all syncing up for you. I just want to, you know, give the story for you guys to see it clearly. That's why I love detailed readings. I don't mean to be long, but it's just detail for you to see, okay? Spirit wants you to see, so I'm going to help you guys see, <laughs> okay? What's the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Swords? Three of Cups. Yeah, this third party here. I'm, this is third party here. You walked away from the lies and deceit and the, and the partying and, and the and celebrating here with, with, with toxic people here. The king of wands, the four of pentacles. This person only want to hold on to your energy. They're just holding on to you for dear life. Don't want to let you go. Look, and all they want to do is keep you in some sort of competition. Okay, but you're too strong for that. Like I was talking about, I gave you a story about the lamb being, you know, coming, at, coming in as a lamb, coming out as a lion. And we keep seeing that strength card here. Okay, with that Ace of Cups, you got a brand new beginning coming in here. They can't stop that. The cycle is here. This this the cycle is closed out, and a new beginning is here. What's the Seven of Swords with the Three of Cups? They flipped over. Okay, the Queen of Wands wanted to flip over. Um, I won't take it because it didn't come out. So let's see. What's the Seven of Swords with the Three of Cups? Okay, that won't come out right away. Yeah, the emperor. <laughs> the emperor here? Wow. Okay, so I'm getting that. You walked away from something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Okay, that could have been heartbreaking, but spirit wants to support you and protect you. Okay, and uh, you walked away from the lies and the seat. But I'm also getting with that seven of swords that you you strategized a plan to walk away. You didn't just walk away, right? You, you, you had to become strategic uh, in walking away from something. Uh, that you like that job, you know, you had to go ahead and set up another job for you to go ahead and bam, leave that one, right? Or or, or become self-employed. You had to be strategic here, and you did that. And now it's it's time for a celebration here because you got that job or you got that place of employment with this emperor. You a big boss out here now. You a big boss out here now. You doing big things, okay? The the three of cups and the emperor. You guys are celebrating because. You went through that death and rebirth, and you let something die for something to begin. The cycle card here, the world card is here. Okay, you 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 went through that dark night of the soul. It was painful. It hurt. You had to see the truth, and you did. The truth hurts, but hey, you guess what? You transformed. It only made you a butterfly. You went from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Look at there. Look at there. Eight of swords, nine of swords, and the five of cups. This third party, they're, they're like, they're shattered. Because it's like, why did you, you left this job. You left us trying to scramble to figure out this. Or you left this relationship. You left me to deal with this and that. To deal with this pain and heart. And they want to apologize. They want to apologize. The five of cups and the page of cups, that's what? What, what is that? Like, what, the six cups? Do they miss you? This job miss you? This this person misses you? They're stuck in their head? They, they don't know how to move forward without you? Child, what is this? What is this? Clarify this emperor spirit. Who this emperor? Give me the emperor. It's coming out. It's coming out sideways. Okay, I got the king of cups. Um. Okay, queen of pentacles, the, the fool, the three of wands, and the queen of wands, the ace of cups. This, this it, it kind of come out in the reverse of let me see. If it came out in the reverse, if that King of Cups came out in reverse, that, that, that person is looking at this emperor. You know, that's what I'm getting. Clarify this emperor here, spirit. Matter of fact, give me this Three of Cups. Who this, what's this Three of Cups about? Five of Pentacles. So you left out a third party. In the, you left a third party out in the cold. Give me the Three of, three of Cups, spirit. It's that's what I'm saying. It's it's something here. Five of Wands. There was competition here, even on probably on that job or a relationship. Definitely third party energy here. You walked away from the lies and deceit and deception and all that. You you walked away from it. Okay, Three of Cups with the, the Five of Wands. Yeah, you gained some sort of enlightenment and clarity, uh, awakening. Okay, and you gained a different perspective here. 
You did. The strength, the ace of cups, and the temperance. Again, you're protected here to be strong, to move forward, because you you had to walk away from something that, that was keeping you in chaos and conflict. All right? That's what it was doing. What's the um what's the three of cups and the emperor? Three of cups and again, you see how this card is still trying to come out in this in sideways or crossing? Okay, your six of wands in the reverse, six of swords on the bottom. So we got the five of wands here to the six of wands in the reverse. So there was some um there was a failure here. Some someone failed at something. This third party failed at at keeping you around, like this, like, like that job I'm talking about. They failed at being able to keep you around, to keep you stuck. You because you like I said, you you walked away. Okay, now I can clarify this emperor here. Six of wands, the nine of uh, six of swords, the nine of wands with the eight of wands. Yeah, there was definitely something that was ongoing here. Queen of Pentacles, the fool. You freed yourself here. You gained sort and you gained some sort of foresight here. Just period. Yeah. The death card falling out the deck. Let's see. Clarify this emperor, please, spirit. Yeah, the moon. Some of you guys could have been scared to take this leap of faith. Some of you guys could have been, yeah, scared to boss up here. Some of you guys could have had fears about it, you know, to, 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 to become a leader. You've had some sort of fear about it here with the moon card coming out with the emperor. But there's a need to trust your intuition here. That's what I'm getting. There's a need to, the emperor with the moon, there's a need to trust your intuition here and to be able to step into the, that, that leadership role, okay, to overcome these fears. What's the, what's the emperor and the moon? Okay, the ten of pentacles come out in the reverse. So there's definitely some sort of breakup here. The ten of pentacles in the reverse. Definitely talks about that. A divorce. Some of you guys could have, like I said, left a situation, left a divorce, uh, left a marriage and got divorced here because there was betrayal here going on. And even on that job here, because it's definitely, the Ten of Pentacles definitely talks about money. So these people were, were taking, was taking your money here and everything. So you had to, you had to end this. It, it needed to end. The cycle, the world card is right here beside this, all of this here. It needed to end. The Ten of, ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. That's, what, what do we got? This card is 14, which is the temperance. You're protected here from this ending. So you guys definitely could have been going through some sort of divorce or, or, or you're leaving some kind of toxic job. But there was betrayal after betrayal here. And now you've been able to, spirits want you to know, you're either overcoming all these obstacles already or you're going to. You're going to with the, the, the chariot, the tower here, and this ace of swords. You've gained, this is divine intervention. This is spirit doing, doing this here. And when the wheel of fortune is out here like it is, whether it's in the reverse or the upright, it's some sort of chaos energy going on, some type of upheaval going on in your life. Tornado, hurricane, some sort of disruption here. But it's a good thing. It's a good tower because it's going to lead you into where you should be, your purpose. Okay? So you guys keep the faith. Keep the faith. You could have took some sort of a loss, but no. Spirit said keep the faith here. Wow. That's why that's why the angels are watching over you. You guys are definitely going through a hard time. Me like some old sage here so I can do these two and um close out the reading, guys. That's why your angels, your spirit team is here watching over you. They want you to know that. They know what you're going through. They know that you are going through a hard time or you just came from having a hard time. And they want you to be supported, protected, loved, and encouraged. Beautiful. What's self-employment? Commitment, resourceful, confident, and rewarding. Spirit is ready to reward you now. What's self-employment? Three of Wands. Foresight. Three of Wands is a very good card to get in a reading. A very good omen to get in a reading. So this is good energy here. Spirit wants you to know you're going to be successful at whatever you do. If you are, because you already got these two, two, these two wands, and you got this, that third one, like, yeah, 
I got this here and I'm, I'm going for more. Okay? You learn your lesson here. You'll be able to uh, celebrate really soon. Yeah, for all your hard work. The Eight of Pentacles talks about self-employment. It does. It truly, truly does. It talks about self-mastery here. You gain some sort of skill. You guys been working hard. Okay? Bottom of the deck here. What we got? Yeah. That, yeah this is how you're going to be. All right? Once you make that... But once you make that move, that's how you're going to feel. <laughs> what I say? The fool card is right on here. This And this lady looks, it's, it's, you're free. You're, gonna, you're freeing yourself. To, and you and you guys, you can't be scared to take this leap of faith. That's probably why that moon card is beside that, that, that king, that emperor, because you, you're scared to take a loss here. But no, spirit is encouraging you to take that leap of faith here. Okay? Because that's good news. That's good news is coming here for you. Okay? And, and you'll be able to heal. You're going to heal and you're going to be protected and you're going to be able to overcome these obstacles. I can't make it up. Wow. What else for self-employment in the three of wands? The fool is out here. Aquarius energy. Wow, guys. Spirit is definitely leading you to common waters here. Things are definitely after this. After this here, yeah. You're, you, 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 you're free. You're freeing yourself. You're free as a bird. This self-employment card got all these birds on here. And there's an angel, angel wings right in the middle. More angel wings. You're protected and you're you are free. And the spirit wants to reward you because you you are confident and you're bold enough to take that brand new leap of faith. Yes, indeed. What's the three of wands? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody could be in your energy trying to ruin your reputation here with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, but you left it out in the cold. Could be that old job. You know, you know how it is when you leave an old job, a job. You know, they 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 want to say all kind of bad things about you. You don't left or even a relationship. They ain't got nothing good to say about you. They want to try to ruin your reputation because you don't walk away from them. You don't walk away from them. And this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is right around this Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Three. This three of cups and this five of wands. It's all right here together. These people are mad that you stepped out and you left them out in the cold here. And they want to hang on to your energy. But you you over here, look, this, this eight of pentacles is in the reverse, right? This is nine pentacles right here. No, let's see. Five. Okay. <clears throat> Throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. The candle is strong. Mm -mm. Let me take a sip of my tea. So this is nine pentacles here. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> so this is nine pentacles. So they thought that ruining your reputation was gonna stop your money. They they thought that was gonna stop your money, but you you don't walk you don't boss up on the ass. The emperor's out here in the upright. You don't took a loss. You took that L, and you don't gain employment, self employment. You the nine of pentacles here all by yourself. The nine of pentacles was the first card out here. Spirit wants you to know who you are. You abundant all by yourself. Forget that third party. Forget him or her. That you don't left that 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 was toxic. Look, they was they were abusive as hell, abusive and mental and cold and aloof. Child, you can't you can't work with these people. Job or relationship like that, you couldn't work with that. It was not to just try to ruin your reputation. There's the eight of swords. Like I say, I was counting up eight swords. That five of five of swords here with that three of swords. That's eight on the bottom. And then we got the nine of cups and magician and the eight of swords. These people was just trying to just cause so much damn. Confusion for you, and they damn, they stuck. They stuck. They stuck and sad themselves, all because you don't turn your back on them with the three of wands. What's the three of wands and the eight of pentacles in the reverse? <laughs> what? The eight of swords. Another eight. I'm gonna say you guys could definitely be saying eight, eight, eight. Wow. They only wanted. To, they only wanted to run their mouth about you and ruin your reputation. Because they, they're mental themselves. They, they want to keep you stuck and trapped. They want to keep you on that job. They want to they keep you stuck in that relationship when you know that you, you need to free yourself. And you have with the fool card. And they're sad and they want to apologize because you're the whole queen of pentacles out here. Like I said, you're abundant on your own. Okay? Wow. You're the whole fucking empress. A child, I cannot make it up. This is too much, like, what's this? Give me this eight of pentacles in the reverse. 
four wands. Yeah, people were trying to ruin your reputation about about you learning your lesson. You 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 know, you gaining you gaining union here. Yeah, you in union with your person. So they wanted to talk bad about you guys. You guys' union here. But you guys are over here celebrating. Even though that they try to ruin your reputation and, and put you in some sort of third party or conflict mess, you guys are in union here and you, you, you're able to celebrate. You're able to celebrate, yeah. This ongoing battle, spirit is leading you out of it and also you, you know, you're leaving them behind. You're leaving them stressed and worried and all that. Yeah, this nine of swords, whoever wanted to come towards you energetically and fight because they, they, don't, want, they don't like the fact that you walked away to so your happiness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Swords? Uh huh. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Swords. Four of Cups. Somebody who just don't miss out. They don't miss out. You, def you guys could definitely be seeing four for four with the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups out here. But yeah, you've awakened to this situation here. Okay? You just have. And whoever this person is, this Nine of Swords is, they want to come in for forgiveness here. And you, you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive them. But you don't need to give them another chance. And you need to break, take, break free from it like this Fool card is doing. Okay? And they don't miss an opportunity with you. They're in regret. Yeah. The Nine of Wands... The justice with the king of wands, somebody who want to want to come towards you um, for sexual purposes, sexual gratification here. With the nine of wands and the king of wands, they're getting their justice here. They're getting their justice. You took, you took, act, you you take, you have taken action with that king of wands, and you moved on. What's the fool? Clarify the fool card. Well, I need to really see who this, what what this here gonna come about to be. So, let's see. What's this eight of swords with this four of cups? Eight of Swords, Four of Cups. Damn. The Four of Pentacles. Like I said, they just wanted to hold on to you, man. And they're going to get their karma for this. So you guys could definitely be seeing 444. We got 777s. 444 here. Justice card is here. Libra Energy. And I'm just getting that things is going to, the, the scale up, the scales are balanced now. Okay. They, they've been trying to hold on to your energy, but you freed yourself. Okay, yeah, they're heartbroken here. Three of Swords and the Two of Swords. That, that was abused. There was uh, un, some, un, thank you, Spirit, some underhanded behavior going on. When I added these swords, I got the Five of Swords, and that's what that is. Definitely some underhanded behavior going on. Okay, yeah, because, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that's, thank you, Spirit, that's the illegal activity. That's what was going on. So you had to boss up and leave that job because there was definitely some illegal activities going on and underhanded behavior here about money but spirits say that as soon as you left this here you're able to get your self-employment you got your commitment resourceful and confident and rewarded spirit got a whole new contract out here for you a whole new contract for you after you left this situation wow yeah 444 four, four. there's no need to even go on with that we're gonna leave it at that what's the four what's the um the fool card Okay. No, the ace. What I say? You have left this situation behind, job, relationship, whatever, and you gain self-employment here. The fool to the ace of pentacles. This is something tangible. This is something you can touch. This is definitely a new job. This is definitely self-employment. A new home. The four of wands talks about having a new home. Some of you guys could be getting a new home, a new car, new job, new place, all that. Like this is new, new, new. All things new coming in here for you because you have taken an op a leap of faith. All right, you overcame your fears and you took a leap of faith because things was going on behind the scenes that you didn't know about. You had there was some, definitely some tricky, tricky, underhanded behavior happening in the energy here, but you freed yourself here. What's the fool with the Ace of Pentacles? Two of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, so this is um, I'm a cry to love here. The two of cups in reverse is like I said. This is, I'm, I'm getting 
I'm getting job, I'm getting career, and I'm getting a relationship. So spirit is um, wanting to bless you, okay, and, and, and give you a new solid beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool card with this with this Page of Pentacles. They want to give you something new because you left behind you you left this Two of Cups in reverse energy. Somebody that was not it was a disharmony, a disunion here, a breakup. You broken up, okay? The Two of Cups in reverse talks about this unrequited love. And you're over it here with all these fours out here. Look. Look at these nines out here. Nine of swords, the six of swords, and the nine of cups. Them swords counts up 15. And that's the devil. That's the toxic card. So this person was very greedy. They were very selfish. They had addictions. They, you know, like I said, they wasn't even uh, reciprocating love here for you. Yeah, you and you just choose to heal. You choose to grow up, glow up on their ass and heal. And gave them a whole tower moment and broke up with them. You broke it off. You there you ended things. Okay. The tower had to come in for you to get this done. So don't feel like this breakup was just to break up your life and God is just sent to, you know, to, to harm you. No, God is protecting you from that person, that job, that place, that thing, whatever it was. Something very toxic here when I counted these swords and I got the devil card. You've left something majorly toxic, guys. So you need to be you know, rewarding, you know, congratulating yourself because your spirit got your spirit team is surrounding you the entire time for you for you to transition into this to this new beginning. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What's this ace of pentacles with the two of cups in the reverse? It's all for a reason and a season. So this too shall pass. What's the ace of pentacles with the two of cups in the reverse? Baby, you got it back. You got your passion back. Thank you, spirit. Oh, thank you, spirit. You got your strength back. You gained, you took a loss. And I just want to tear up because it's like, it's, it's beautiful because you got it all back. Whatever the enemy thought they stole because you you, you took a loss, you gained something with this ace of, ace of wands. Yes, you have. Five of swords to the six to the king of swords. That's that's six swords. I'm counting them up. You've been able to overcome these obstacles. You was dealing with an abusive ass person, very underhanded behavior going on on this job. But this person, this king of swords, could definitely be a, be a, 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 a authoritative figure on your job. Or even this person was just that type of person you was in a relationship with. Very aloof, very cold. Okay, and you've been able to overcome this. By leaving it behind. There's definitely been a breakup here, guys. But Spirit wants you to know that you 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 definitely got a new beginning with this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands. is yours. Spirit got it here for you. So, like I said, keep the faith. Know that your spirit team is here. Call on them for support. Okay? Because they want to protect you. They want you to know that you're loved and that you're supported. But you got a brand new beginning. This is very vibrant energy. Very brand new, passionate beginning coming in here. That's what you have. That's what's on the way. That's what you know. That's what you need to know. But that three of wands, you need to know that your ships are coming in, baby. Rewarding. This 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 card says commitment, resourceful, confident, and rewarding. You need to be confident in knowing that you got your rewards coming in. Wow, and you do. Because this, this is clearly talking about getting rewards after you don't took a loss. After people are saying all kind of bad stuff about you and trying to ruin your reputation, you 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 overcame it all with the fool here. You took a brand new leap of faith and you freed yourself. What's sand flying? Turquoise talks about forgiveness, seeking freedom and healing. Yeah. What what's what's the number sand? What's it's the number nine? But what's the sand flying spirit? Some of you guys' favorite color could be turquoise. I know it's one of mine. Okay. You see what I got on today, right? Okay. It's it's turquoise. <laughs> Good news. There's good news for your healing coming in here. Good news for um, free, being free, forgiving. Look at the sun being vibrant here. Very so much vibrant and radiant. Okay. You're healing. You got clarity here. Okay. And you leaving somebody uh, heartbroken. Sad. That's not your energy. Yeah, look. Look. Woo. Wow. Ten of swords, the empress, two of swords, three of swords. That's the 15. That's the devil card, guys. That's devil energy. You were surrounded in toxicity here on that job, in that relationship. Do you see that? You were surrounded. 
in pain and heartbreak, loss and sorrow. You took betrayal after betrayal. They backstabbed you over and over again. Okay, but look at look at the sign on the bottom. Spirit wants you to know that you 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 got happiness on the way. Clear, mental clarity on the way. You you healing from this. The Ace of Swords cuts right through this Five of Cups energy, and you heal from all that. You heal from all that. Nine of Wands. There was an ongoing battle here, but you're freeing yourself from all of this. You got the Spirit wants you to know you got good news coming in here with the Page of Wands. Good news. Look at that. Wow. What's saying for line with the Page of Wands? The justice. The scales are balancing out. You're getting good karma. The wheel of fortune is in the upright. The justice is in the upright. You're getting some kind of karma over this uh, over this betrayal that you got that you that you've endured that you took over and over again. You, there was a painful ending here on the job on a, on in a relationship. Take just take what resonates here. But either way, spirits want spirit wants you, your spirit team wants you to know that there is justice here. Okay, there is justice here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Sun with the Ace of Swords. Like I said, you got mental clarity. You're happy. You're gonna get it all back. If you're not, if you're not right now, just keep going because you will be. Because your spirit team is here for you. So once you call on them to protect you and, and to, to support you, they'll step in and handle the situation for you. And justice will come out in your favor here. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Page of Wands, Spirit. What's the Page of Wands? The Page of Pentacles. Okay. You have a... It's right beside this Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> So you got a solid new beginning coming in here. That's the good news, that you have a solid new beginning coming in here because you've, you've been able to free yourself and heal and forgive. You've been fair, that there's justice here, karmic justice here. But with this, I'm just getting there's good news. There's good news in earthly matters here. Double, because the Page of Wands is good news by itself. You got the Queen of Cups, the Magician, and the Five of Pentacles. Let's see. Yeah, the Empress, the Temperance, and the Eight of Wands. Look at there. You a whole earth angel out here. Your spirit team ain't gonna let you go unprotected, baby. They're not. Don't even believe that. Don't even think them thoughts. Okay? The Empress, the Temperance with the Eight of Wands. You're abundant. Things is balancing out with the justice. That talks about patience and balance too. Okay? But you got a good, you got a good energy shift that's happening here for you. Okay? Amazing. What's the page of wands with the page of pentacles? The king of swords. And it came out crossing. because it, So it could have went either way. Okay. Either way, I'm getting that this is spirit protecting you. Okay. Protecting your, um, as you embark on a, you know, start, starting a new here. Starting a new beginning here. New foundation. Building that new foundation with the page of pentacles. But I'm also getting that this is this could be an ex of yours who's kind of in their head about wanting to come towards you for an offer here. Because, they, yeah, they want your forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. They treated you unfairly here. They want a new beginning here with you. Could be. But they were abusive towards you. Let me, let me see. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Temperance. You're protected from this person. But they want your forgiveness here. They do. What's the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords? The dinosaurs. This person's stuck in their head. They want forgiveness from you. That uh, ex, uh, the queen, the king of swords could be an ex. Yeah, because so, okay, so we got the queen of swords over here to the king of swords. So I'm definitely getting an ex who's stuck in their head because you 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 made them an ex. Yeah, and you're a whole empress. The, the queen of cups, you're a loving person. You, you're not this cold person that they try to make you out to be. You're not this person in the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not uh, someone trying to ruin your reputation. You're not that on what they said that you are. You are this queen of cups, this empress, and you are this magician. You're standing in your power, okay? Yeah, you also are happy. You went within and you gained some sort of um, perspective. You gain some sort of introspection about this person. We got the, the nine of cups to the page of cups. That's ten cups. Yeah, the hermit after that was the six of wands, six of swords. So yeah, you got you got good stuff coming in here. A tower. That's another major. 
the chariot, another major. Listen, this is big time. What you did was really big. Okay, you really disrupted this person's whole plan for for uh, the, for you. You 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 interrupted that. You now you've really confused the enemy. The, the enemy is confused here. King of Swords and the and the um yeah they're sad. Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. They're sad. They don't know how to move on. I mean, wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What's this King of Swords with this Nine of Swords? Yeah, the High Priestess. You already know who this person is. We got the High Priestess to the higher fine. Yeah. Doesn't need to trust your inner guys here. Trust your intuition about this person. The Hangman, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Cups. This person is a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, very so much an ex who who only wanted sex. That's it. That's what I'm getting with that. King of Swords, the, the person you don't even speak to anymore, or who was just really aloof when y'all were together. And they was just very a they were a bit of a tyrant here with the nine with the nine of wands, five of cups. They're sad, they're moody. Okay, and they and they wanted to keep you stuck to them, but you already see this person for who they are. You do. You really do. Who does King of Swords? Yeah, the tempers you're protected from this person or this could be added protection as you heal because you could be going through this dark night of the soul okay this king of swords is, is clarified by the tempers card yeah the king of cups and more just more angels around you here a lot this sand line is an archangel so it's like more more protection here strong strong protection here for you that's coming in Eight of Wands to, you know, because like the spirit knows that something you was dealing with something very so much underhanded. And they want you to have this new beginning. They do. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Wow, King of Cups, Queen of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, someone said. What's this, what's this King of Swords with the Nine of Swords, though? What I say, the King of Wands. I'm telling you, this person here, some some karmic energy, some karmic male, some karmic male. Look, the King of Cups, the the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords. What? Who are all these people? <laughs> like, Knight of Swords with the King of Wands. Like I said, this person could be very just real cold towards you. Really aloof towards you. Like, you know, what's the Nine of Swords with the King of Wands? Wow, the Nine of Wands in reverse? Child, somebody you just, you know, last one standing here. Okay. Somebody you had to give up on, pretty much. Yeah, you had to stand in your power and give up on this person because they were they were abusive towards you. You got a brand new beginning coming here. I don't know what their intentions were. Who this King of Wands specifically got a nine, a lot of nines out here together, okay? So that's another, this could be another message Spirit wants to have for you. So Spirit, what's this, um, give me this King of Wands. Who this King of Wands, Spirit? King of Wands. Okay, yeah, the hangman. You've taken action with the King of Wands. You have gained mental. Uh, you got mental energy here. You uh, with the Hangman. You see. You see things differently. You gain a different perspective here about this person here, and you know. You know. Yeah, forgiveness. Yeah, they definitely want forgiveness here with the judgment. This card is talking about forgiveness. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. They want. They want to come in for forgiveness, but no. Mm-hmm. I had to check that real quick. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, yeah, this King of Wands with this Nine of Wands. Somebody that you, you couldn't compromise with this person. You were overwhelmed. Okay, and you had to gain a different perspective of the situation here. But they want your forgiveness here. Yeah, they want your forgiveness because they know you're a loving person. They, with the Queen of Cups and the Empress, they know you're a very loving person. You're a very loving, tender soul. And they and this is they just want to use that. They want to come in and out of your energy. Nine of Wands. They don't want anything else. 
They don't want anything else. And spirit wants you to move on from this person. That's what they want you to do. What's the justice card? Yeah, the knight of swords. Somebody who wants, you know, wants to come towards you. Or this could be you um, suddenly making a decision about something. Suddenly taking action. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You suddenly took action on this here with that knight of swords. King of Cups, the Judgment, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress. Yes, this is you and your person. You suddenly took action on this here. But this person, or this could be a person here who's, who's who wants to come towards you with some sort of hostility because you're in union with your person. The King of Cups, y'all have forgiven each other here. This person could have been an ex trying to come between you and your person. But that King of Swords and the King of Wands, this all could be the same person here. And they, this he or she could have been trying to come in between this union here. But you a whole Empress out here. Yeah. Right. Look at that. I had to keep going. Six the knight of the, the Empress, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Swords, the, the Hermit with the King of Pentacles and this Five of Pentacles. Somebody you had to leave out in the cold. This person probably was shape shifting. You had to leave this person out in the cold. The second card out here was the devil. So you have to be you have to be uh, aware of, of who the devil is in your energy. And it's this person here. What's the justice with the Knight of Swords? They're getting their karma. What's the justice of the Knight of Swords? I, was, I had to tell y'all about that King of Pentacles and he come flying out. This person was shape shifting all over the board. Somebody from your past, somebody you have children with, you don't have to, but the Six of, the six of Cups talks about that or they, or they really miss you. They truly miss you. Yeah, they're sad. Five of Cups and Six of Cups, they're really sad, but they're, you know, that, that you are, you know, you getting your wishes for, look at all these cups out here. Wow, they know how beautiful you are. They know how sexy you are. And they really just, they got so much love for you here. But no, it's like, what can you do with that? If you're treating, if they're treating you a certain way. Yeah, the Empress, the Six of Pentacles, they want you to give to them again. But you, you've turned your back and you're following your heart. The Queen of Swords is the only queen out here. You're not letting all those emotions steer you from the path, the path that spirits want you to go on. You're not letting it stop you. You're taking, you're taking that brand new leap of faith. Mm -mm. You're not letting your emotions. You you have emo, You're a very emotional person, but you know you had to keep your emotions in check to lead that job. You know you had to keep your emotions in check to lead that person. You did. Mm -hmm. What's the Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands. Mm. A lot of flighty energy here. So I'm getting that this, this King of Pentacles could be your person here. Or this could be you. Flip and switch it. Yeah, the Judgment, the Six of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody, you left these knights out in the cold for it, for a King of Pentacles here. And somebody's having a whole time moment because you're standing in your power. And you got new love coming here. We did see the King of Cups with the King of Queen of, Queen of Cups in the deck. Somebody could be trying to come towards your 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 um this King of Pentacles. This Emperor could be the King of Pentacles because we did, like I said, we saw the Queen of Cups beside the Empress. You see what I'm saying? So you could be embodying energy as well, and you could you're not shape shifting. You just embodying. Oh Lord, you just embodying that energy, okay? But these dark people out here, the people who got ill intentions, they're the ones that shape shift, okay? And that that's the truth, okay? Everything I just said was the truth, all right? Who is this King of Pentacles spirit? King of Pentacles, please. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, the judgment here. Yeah, this is this could be definitely your person. Oh wow, it is definitely your person. <laughs> the star with the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, wow. Some of you guys, you definitely have, this is talks about healing. The Star card talks about healing. This is so beautiful. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is a match to this uh, counterpart to the King of Pentacles out here. You guys are very grounded. You're loving. You're nurturing, okay? And this King of Pentacles could be wanting to come towards you with some sort of offer, a proposal, okay? I've been saying that. Some, some of you guys could be about to get married, okay? But really, you're, you're healing here. Okay, they want to marry you now. You're about to be a whole wife out here, guys. <laughs> okay? Wow. 
Wow, this is beautiful. So, so beautiful. I don't know who this Knight of Wands person is, but it could be just the energy of this King of Pentacles. They trying, they want to take action. Yeah, they, they want to just take action here. Because they love you. What's the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands? I'm getting something strong. You've definitely forgiven this um, King of Pentacles here. This card talks about forgiveness. The judgment is forgiving. You guys are forgiving each other here. The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. Like I said, you got a positive shift coming here. You left things out in the cold. You could even let this this Knight, this Knight of Wands flighty energy out in the cold. Right, because look. Five of Swords, Five of Cups. This person is sad. They, you know, there's a big change that had to happen. This was big. This is really big. Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. This is what this is the shift that Spirit Spirit wants you to see. This is the shift that's coming in here for you. A positive shift. The Eight of Wands is the second fastest card in the deck. This is definitely a positive shift coming in here. That's what Spirit wants for you guys. Spirit has it here for you. Beautiful. What's the Knight of Wands with the Eight of with the Eight of Wands? The Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Yeah. This is a pair. This definitely is a pair. The King of, the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Y'all, you guys are definitely here. The magician on the bottom, the strength. Yeah, the chariot. Wow. The, wow, you guys are transforming. That's what this is. You're transforming the, 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 the chariot to the, the death card to the tower. The vine had to intervene here. Okay? But we got counterpart energy out here. Strong counterpart energy. The Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Okay? What's the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands? The Tower. Queen of Cups. So this could be a karmic couple who is, I did see the Ten of Swords. They could be, they could be saying all kinds of things about you, but you're healing from it all. But the tower is here. This person having the whole tower moment. Ace, Ace of Cups, the Five of Cups, then with the Five of Swords. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could be cloaking their energy here. We keep saying that hermit card. But let's see. What's the Queen of Wands? Clarify this Queen of Wands spirit. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. So this could be you and your person. This king, this queen of swords and this king of swords could be you and your person. And this could be you and your person with this king of swords, king of wands with this queen of wands, y'all. That you, you guys could be embodying that you're healing, okay? That's what I get with that. But you got this king of pentacles in your energy who wants who wants your forgiveness, though. They want your forgiveness, but no, you, like I said, you're in union with your person here. There's the four wands and these two counterparts energy. Okay, and you guys went to some sort of a tower moment, but you're having to heal from it. I'm getting a good tower because it's beside this Ace of Cups and this Queen of Wands. So it's like all this had to happen for, for your good. It truly did. Hmm. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Okay, because I wanted to actually pull from some of these to see what it was going to come out and be for you. Yeah, abundance is here, relocation. Some of you guys could be moving into a new home. You definitely got abundance here. With that um, nine of pentacles. That talks about abundance. Finances here, yeah. Let's see, spirit. Let's clarify the spread for the collective. We have a lot of healing here. Beautiful. I mean, it's just what you want, though. You know, guys could be going through something, but Spirit definitely got something better for you. Yeah, look, what I say? Spirit got something better for you, angel. Divinely guided, ask for help from your angels. I've been saying that the whole reading. Pay, you are protected. Pay attention to signs and dreams. Like I said, I've been trying to give you all the signs. We got the sevens out here, triple seven. We got triple four. 
got some nines out here too. So be on the lookout for those signs and synchronicities. Because listen, spirit definitely wants to, you know, bless you here. But you got somebody who wants to come towards you. They're angry. I did see the anger card. That knight of swords with that king of pentacles. Somebody who's married. They're trying to come towards you or something. Like, no. But your spirit has stepped in. You made a final judgment about this person here. And you're simply moving forward with your person. And he fine. <laughs> he fine, fine with that king of wands. Okay. But you done bossed up out here, guys. Congratulate yourselves. I just wanted to see what comes out of this deck here for you. All right, Spirit, clarify this spread for the collective. And I can close out this reading with my Isis Oracle. And that'd be it. Okay. Let's see, Spirit. You have creativity, new creative ideas, focus... Focus on your own expressing yourself, following your creative instincts, creative projects, and creative life. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're moving forward, and you're confident about it. What message is here for my collective? What message is here for the collective spirit? Okay, so we have teamwork, unfinished, and poor health. So somebody's in poor health. So we got teamwork, a partnership to complete a goal. Yeah, someone's sad. Like I said, there was somebody in energy that you could not work with. Teamwork, a partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network, delegating tasks. Yeah, we did get this right up. It's right above the Ten of Wands, which is delegating tasks. You know, it, it means that in the reverse. But unfinished, leaving things unfinished, tying up loose ends, things left unresolved, see things through, poor health. Neglecting health, health needs assessment, mental health conditions, addictive habits. That's what that toxic card was here. That's why the devil card was here. Okay? What else? <laughs> okay, so we got business here. Work, entrepreneurship, that's self-employment. Career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. Okay, we have hot mess, disorderly habits, untidy mind. Like I said, some of you guys need to be mindful about your mindset. Okay, I talked about that in this reading. All right, it says chaotic, messy situation, feeling miserable and unhappy, being irresponsible, local travel. Hey, that's um, Ace of Wands in the world talks about travel. Okay, sad news, disappointing message, not what you wanted to hear, something not going in your favor. That's why this, ten of, that's why this emperor came out here with this Six of Wands in the reverse. Because something did not go as planned. There was a few, uh, you know, there was a, you know, something, something working on your favor here. But spirit got so much in, in serendipity, divine intervention, spirit stepped in, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortunate stroke of luck. So keep going. You're going to get that job. Okay. There's just been some delays here that you took a loss. You did. You did. Okay. But you, be, but you are rebuilding your life after loss, investing a lot of effort. Okay, ready to take action to improve, determination, and drive. I'm not done. Close it. Close it. Yep, that's what's going on. Sorry about that, guys. What up, Spirit? What else? Birth, new, new opportunity, starting over. Reinventing yourself. Birth of a child, idea, or project. I told you guys. It's here. Self-employment is here. You guys are definitely going to get that job. Birth of a child. Starting over. It's going to be either birth or a job or self-employment. Either one. Because it's right on the business. What else, Spirit? Okay. We got sadness here. Disappointment, regret, depression, unwelcome change. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys are not welcoming the change. Okay, or this could be somebody else in your energy. Lightning in reverse. Okay. Yep. Lightning in the reverse. It said, sudden fast change, taking a quick action, shocking events, lo love striking you unexpectedly. It come out in the reverse. Taking quick action. Okay, so the world, we did get the world out here. Completion of a major milestone. Fulfillment, time, success, broadening your horizons, end of a journey. What's lightning in the reverse? Finances. Okay, this is what happened here. Yeah, that, that Ten of Pentacles come out in the reverse. So, um, finances. Fi financial issues are a factor trying to generate more income. Good, bad, financial changes, clearing debts. 
manifestation here. Snake, yeah, time of time of healing, shadow skin, secret knowledge, jealousy, and envy. Yeah, you don't left that job. You left that job that was uh had you doing illegal activities here with that ten of pentacles in reverse, coming with the uh the moon and the emperor. Yeah, you're stepping into your self employment leadership status here because that this is why the lightning is here in reverse. Let's see, what's poor health? Yeah, let's see. What's poor health? Surviving, yeah. Barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck. Burnout is knocking on your door. No savings, limited resources. So you guys could be, you know, needing to work on your your finances here, living paycheck to paycheck. That there's need to even be to be resourceful, resourceful, because one of these cards talks about being resourceful. Yeah, it's self-employment. So there's a need to work on your finances so you can, you know, and make sure you're not neglecting your health. Okay. Some of you guys need to see a doctor about it. What's poor health and surviving? Yeah, look, karmic justice here with pink diamond. Pink diamond, a rare opportunity, fine, one of one one of a kind of love, unique creative expression, wealth and prosperity. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what's coming in here after you took a loss. Okay? And karmic justice, justice card is out here. Wrongs made right. You will be vindicated. Getting what you deserve. Learning karmic lessons. Yes. Yes. You've, you've done the work. You really have, guys. Okay. What's sad news? Okay. Ghosting in the reverse. Sudden disappearing act. Cutting off all communication. Feeling rejected. De dealing with lack of closure. So that's in the reverse. So you either ghosted someone or you got ghosted. But, and that was sad for you or this person. Take it as it resonates, okay? What's sad news and ghosting in the reverse? Evil eye. You are protected. Cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby. Careful who you trust. Yeah, you know, this is the person you left behind. It could be about that job you left behind because you have abundance here. You are arrival to abundance, financial blessings, rewards for your efforts. Money flows easy into your life. Like I said, that two of pentacles came out here. You are in your ebb and flow. Okay? You, you, you are. And spirit wants you to know that you're protected. Okay? Leaving that relationship or leaving that, um, that you had to suddenly leave a relationship or you had to suddenly leave a job. One of the two. Take it as it resonates, guys. Okay? But um, other than that, let me see. What's hot mess? Hot mess. Yeah, look, the death card. Inevitable end, big transformation, shedding required, dead end. So yeah, that that's over with. Being being a hot mess, that's over with. Because you you close out these karmic cycles here. And you relocated and you have a new love offer coming in here. And that's why the Ace of Cups came out here as the last one of the last cards that came out. You have a new love offer coming in here, guys. That's for you. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to get one of these. My collective readings will be a little long because, like I say, it's for everybody. And I try to get messages for everyone. So, Spirit, give me an Isis Oracle here. I love this deck. It's, like, probably the first, one of the first decks that I got a few years ago. Okay. Isis Oracle. Really beautiful deck with a lot of beautiful images on it. But I just wanted to read one to see because it's, it's like I said, when I get one, it's deep. It's really deep. So get ready because I, I, you know, I pull these rare, you know, sporadically because it's like, whew, they're heavy. They're really deep messages for you. So I wanted to get you guys one, okay? So, Spirit, give me some messages here from my Isis Oracle for my collective. For my collective beings. One more shuffle here. Lady of the Stars, Priestess of Cyrus. Let me do that again. Magic and ritual, craft and sacred practice. That's what we do here. All right. Give me an oracle for the collective spirit. I can close it out. Give me an oracle for the collective. Two of them. I just want one. Caratucci, divine names of power. K 
Caratucci. Caratucci, let's see. Oh, it's right here. Turn right to it. Caratucci, Divine Names of Power. Lady Isis initiates you now into her special mysteries. We did get the uh, High Priestess card out here. The use of sacred annotations. The words that you speak are rapidly gaining power. To so benefit from this power, rather than be undermined or held back by it, practice thoughtful speech. That's, that's how you be mindful. I, t I said that. I told you guys to be mindful. It said pra practice thoughtful speech and clear your heart of old unforgiveness. For uh, forgiveness is out here. There's a need to forgive others and to forgive yourself. Practice thoughtful pre speech and clear out, clear your heart of of old unforgiveness, which can poison your words unintentionally. You can be doing this unintentionally, okay? So it's, there doesn't need to be aware and be mindful. As your heart grows in purity, you will be able to speak with spiritual authority, and what you speak of will come into be being more swiftly and obviously. That's why this Queen of Wands is over here with this Eight of Wands, okay? Isis is initiating you as a master healer in her sacred tradition of divine names of power. You are being initiated into the divine healing tradition of Isis herself. Isis, Isis works through divine names of power. These are sacred words of strength, magic, and power to create healing from a place of compassion and devotion to love. She honors that which is worthy of protection and uses endless determination combined with her skill of speaking words of power. The Queen of Swords is out here to cause life to thrive in that which is not worthy of cultivation, which would not serve life to dissipate and decline. That's the Nine of Pentacles out here. Cultivation. Divine names of power are mantras. Mantras sound the names of the divine in all traditions. Isis would bring you her name to begin, offered to you as a sacred gift to be worked with as a mantra of protection of feminine grace and divinity and healing. You can use her name as she instructs you to do so in the ritual below. A word, phrase, or mantra that is given through initiation is like a light bulb that has been plugged into a lamp. Beautiful. So I just want to read you guys the mantra real quick. The ritual that it says. So it says, close your eyes and imagine that you see into your own heart and a space of light opening up and say this incantation. I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally. Teach me to speak powerfully from a place of love and peace sublime. Beyond time and space, my words will shine like diamonds with beauty and strength immense. They bring divine truth and cut through pretense. Pretense, Beloved Isis, initiate me into your words of power. Your healing grace descends upon me as a heavenly shower. That is beautiful. Okay? So it says, the incantation, grace of sweet lady Isis, cleanse me now of karmic crisis, of words said in haste that their effect and cause help the spiritual momentum now pause. Negative repercussions now cease. All involved are filled with peace. Your names of power end the pain. Dissolve unhappiness, bitterness, and strain. Creating new webs of light and healing. Divine, unconditional love now revealing. Okay, guys. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So, say those things. Look over what I just said. I hope this resonated, the reading here for today. And I will be uploading more content for you guys. And I want you guys to take care. And the Spirit wants you to know that you are loved, safe, and protected, okay? And be mindful of your thoughts, words, and actions here. And um, make sure that you're doing your return to senders, okay? Take, take care, guys. Bye.